Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, cloudy chance of karmic storms. That's because the moon has now moved into your subconscious, the house of karma, and it will conjunct Mars today. And we've been talking about this for just a little while, so maybe it's a reminder, maybe you're finally hearing it for the first time, not to be sarcastic, but you know, Your Majesty. Well, today the moon conjuncting Mars means that there'll be an emotional explosion on the inside, and what the universe is trying to detonate are your weeds. With Mars in the 12th house, it is now time, I've been saying, for you to weed your soul guard, meaning you grab your core issues that go back to your childhood and wrap around everything in your life and you pull those freaking weeds out for good. It's no more a time of contemplation of whether or not they belong there or they deserve there or you deserve it. A lot of Leos fall into, why did this happen to me? You're just putting off your weeding, Your Majesty. Get on it, says Mars. Not only that, but Mars will try to other planets. That means you hold the potential in the next few days to really emotionally mature at a rapid rate, kind of in the background, on the inside of yourself where people don't get to see. This is really your inner sanctity. It, connect, it connects into intimacy with your karma and also your home and foundation. And furthermore, today the day is ruled by Neptune and the sun is one third of this soul pyramid. So the sun is really vibrating up to Neptune. That is your higher self. In other words, the sun in the fourth house has one third of this and Mars and the moon in the 12th is really telling me that this is a profound day to come to some great realizations, ones that root all the way back to your childhood and really now affect your garden. These are weeds wrapping themselves around your potential flowers. Now, with the sun ruled by Neptune as one third of the soul pyramid, it also points to that a lot of the actual work, the steps you can take, come down to really you updating your flower pot. This is the metaphor we use for the fourth house. It is where you plant yourself, your root structure, that is one third of this. And really that's where the problem is at the moment, says the universe. Yes, you're weed eating and getting rid of things, but tangibly, you're really working on a better foundation for yourself. That includes family, relationships at home, how you feel at home, and financial. Are things coming in for you to survive? So today, look at your family and look at, there may be a little bit of a karmic storm about the past. All right, that's all we have for today, Your Majesty. See you tomorrow on Halloween. Live, love, be. So